I graduated from high school and had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do. So I took a year off and I worked at a grocery store and realized that maybe it wasn't quite the career path that I wanted. So when I was in high school, I had no idea what land surveying was. And I basically was trying to decide what to do with my, with my life. I had some family members that were involved with, with surveying. And, and, and the Yukon's a great place to, to learn that. So I went to the Yukon College and got a surveying technician certificate there. So there was a geomatics engineering diploma course at the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. I started on that path and uh, realized it was something that was actually really interesting. I decided, hey, engineering is something I could do. Eventually ended up uh, at University of Calgary and that's where I decided that surveying might be an option for me. I went on to work for a couple years and then I went to the University of Calgary and went through, got a geomatics engineering degree just to further my career. So when you want to become a BC land surveyor, um, you end up going into what's called an article process. Um, so it's kind of a hands-on experience. In the land surveying community, <laughs> it's very close-knit. Um, so I've had the opportunity to work with several land surveyors over the year. And you know, if I can pick something up from somebody uh, and it helps me do my job better, that's great. Upon completing all of the professional exams and the practical experience, then I was able to become a licensed land surveyor. Some of the coolest projects I've worked on uh, are surveys out in the bush for some of the local First Nations. And some of this land hasn't been touched in over 100 years. I think I've been lucky in the projects that I've been able to work on. I've worked on the boundary between Nunavut and the Northwest Territories, so I've been up at the Arctic Ocean. There's so much variety to the job, from drones to robotic total stations. Uh, these are tools that uh, have developed over the years, and they're really just helping us do our job better. No day is the same as the day before. Last year, I actually spent time with the International Boundary Commission, so doing some surveys on the Canada-US boundaries. It involved a lot of hiking and stuff in the, in the mountains, and it was great. And then there's the other side of uh, my job. We do a little bit of engineering and construction surveying as well. I've done some quite high precision stuff, uh, which I've always thought was pretty cool. There is a future need for uh, Indigenous land surveyors in Canada. There are very few of us. As these First Nations sign these treaty settlement negotiations, um, they have to develop land codes. So as an Indigenous surveyor, uh, I think I can certainly help out these First Nations. And I'd love to see more youth come into the survey industry because there's opportunities there to work with their own people for starters. I, I feel it can give you a, a tie to your lands because land is such a huge part of First Nation culture. So just to have a vested interest in that. I hope that there actually will be more diversity in the surveyors coming through in the next few years. I hope that there are more First Nation youth that want to pick up surveying as a profession because I think that it definitely um, is a profession that their community needs. There's lots of doors that are opened um, because I'm Indigenous. I actually ended up getting a scholarship to go to university. The youth need to really consider their options and know that there's funding available for, for their future. If you like to be outdoors, if you like to camp, fish, you know, we ride ATVs, we, we use chainsaws. If that's the kind of stuff you're interested in, and you'd be great out in the, in the bush. You need organizational skills. You need to be able to think on the fly when you actually get out to the field. So you need to be able to adapt quite quickly. An interest in outdoors is great because you're going to spend a lot of time out there. Fairly strong math skills. And if you're interested in technology, it's definitely a, a nice career path. It's not easy to become a land surveyor. It is a lot of hard work. But for me, I think it's paid off. I you know 100 years from now, someone's going to come along and they're going to find one of my surveys and they're going to have to retrace that survey and I think it's cool just to be part of history.